I'm Camille Pajariliaga from BSC 1E of Nova Ecija University of Science and Technology and this is Physics for Engineers 1. So in this video, we're going to talk about projectile motion with zero launch angle. So a projectile motion is defined as the launch of anything, for example a ball, that follows a certain path that is influenced by gravity. So in zero launch angle, we have our launch to be like this. Our angle is equivalent to zero, making a horizontal line for the release of an object. So in projectile motion, it is considered that the acceleration of the X component is zero. Why? Because the motion is moving towards this way in a constant speed and is not changing. And when there's no change in velocity, that means there's no acceleration. So for the acceleration of Y, on the other hand, it will be equivalent to negative gravity. So considered upward direction as our positive, our, our downward direction will be our negative. Since gravity is a downward direction, that means the gravi our gravity will be negative. And it is parallel to Y axis, that is why it belongs to the Y component. So now that we know this simple concepts, let's move forward to our sample problem. Okay. So a person skateboarding with a constant speed of 1.30 meters per second releases a ball from a height of 1.25 meters above the ground. Given that x sub o equals 0 and y sub o equals the height or 1.25 meters, find x and y for time at 0 0.250 seconds and time at 0 0.500 seconds. For the second question, we have find the velocity, speed, and direction of the motion of the ball at 0 0.500 seconds. So first, let's go with our first question. So before we begin answering this, let's first illustrate our problem. Let's say a person is here skateboarding. So he's riding a skateboard. And here is the ball that he released. And it went to be like this one. So the release point of the ball will be your initial position. That is why our x is equivalent to 0 because it is right above the origin of our x-axis. And our initial position will be the height, which is 1.25 meters because it is here in this place. Our initial velocity for x is equivalent to 1.30 meters per second, which is also our final velocity for x because it has a constant speed that means it did not change, so it is also the final velocity. So for our velocity in the y component, it will be equivalent to zero because it started in the origin. So it hasn't been moving until the boy releases the ball. So now, in finding for our x and y, for x component, we are going to use v sub o sub x. So it came from the formula x minus x sub o is equivalent to vot plus one half acceleration times time squared. That is in our equations of motion. So we all know that acceleration in relevance to x is is already equivalent to zero. Hence, this whole thing will be zero, and will be left and will be left with x minus x sub o is equivalent to v sub o related to x times time. And since our initial position here is also equivalent to zero as written here we have x is equivalent to velocity initial velocity times time so in computing for this we have 1.30 meters per second multiplied by 0 0.250 seconds and we will have 0 0.325 meters so that is our x position at time is equivalent to 0 0.25 seconds. So for our y component, we will use the same thing for, for derivation and we will end up with negative one half gt 
squared because here an, our acceleration for y will be negative gravity and their initial velocity for y is equivalent to zero. That's why we ended up with this formula. So in calculating negative one half gravity 9.81 meters per second squared times 0 0.25 seconds squared and then 0 0.943 meters. So that's our y component for the time 0 0.25 seconds. So when time is equivalent to 0 0.5 seconds, it will just be the same formula and the same process. So our x will be 0 0.65 meters and our y will be 0 0.0238 meters. So that is our x and y component when time is equivalent to 0 0.5 seconds. And now let's move forward to answering our second question. So we have to find the velocity and direction of the ball after 0 0.500 seconds. So our illustration is still here. And so first, let's find the velocity. In finding the velocity, we will also use our formula in vectors. So it will be v sub x squared plus v sub y squared. And the rest of that is equivalent to our velocity. The first thing that we need to find is the v sub y. Because our v sub x is already here, 1.30 meters per second. So, notably that our initial velocity for x is also like this. And it did not change because it says that we have a constant speed here. So it did not change and our final velocity will still be 1.30 meters per second. So now, let's try to find our velocity for the y component. So to do that, we negative gravity times time. It is also derived from one of our equations of motion, the first one, where v is equivalent to v sub o plus a t. So a will be negative gravity, and our v sub o for y is equivalent to zero. Because we talked about earlier that it started from rest since it did not change position or anything here. So now let's solve for the value of the y component of our velocity. So we have negative times 9.81 meters per second squared multiplied by our time which is 0 0.500 seconds and that will be equivalent to negative 4.91 meters per second. That is our velocity for our y component. And now that we have both x and y velocities we can now use this formula. So we have square root of 1.30 meters per second quantity squared plus 4.91 negative meters per second quantity squared and we will have 5.08 meters per second that is our final velocity in this problem when time is equivalent to 0.500 seconds so now for our direction we have the formula of tangent or inverse tangent rather multiplied by v sub y over v sub x that will be tan inverse tangent and negative 4.91 meters per second over 1.30 meters per second so our angle will be equivalent to 75.2 degrees so our Velocity is equivalent to 5.08 meters per second, and our direction is 75.2 degrees when time is equivalent to 0 0.500 seconds in this problem of ours. So this is projectile motion with zero launch angle. Thank you so much for watching. Searching for greatness in a sea of the